I have filmed this video so many different times on so many different cameras that everything I'm about to say again is going to seem so redundant to me, but hey. Hello Lesbian Central, today's Friday, my name is Trey and I'm back again. So this week we have two topics like always. The first one's dealing with um, how to get someone that you're crushing on or attracted to to notice you. And the second one is dealing with how to deal with um, being in a relationship with someone who has a different orientation than you or liking someone who has a different orientation with you. Um, for example, it could be a gay male with a straight male, you know, a straight guy with a lesbian, those kind of things. So I'm going to try to get into both of them. I'm going to say them really briefly and very plainly because literally you just do not know how many times I filmed this video. Um, but um, also I did want to say I am subbing in for Maddie because um, she is feeling a little bit ill. So leave her some love down in the comments. And um, since I wasn't able to make mine yesterday, I decided... Hey, I'm going to make mine now. And so, um, for the topics. So, how to get someone um, that you're attracted to to notice you. I think the thing that I can plainly say to you is just to go up to them. Um, be an adult. Let them know how you feel. Um, no matter how old you are. Just, like, put on your grown um, big girl panties or your big guy panties or, you know, whatever. And um, go up to that person and tell, you that, tell them that you like them. And if they have the same feelings as you do, then fine. It's great. Awesome. Y'all can get together. Y'all can work through this. If they don't, oh, well, there's so many different people in the world. Seriously, in different countries that speak different languages. There's just so many different people in the world who will be attracted to who you are and want to get to know you more. So if this person doesn't like you, hey, there's going to be another one you're going to meet next week, maybe next month, maybe next year, who's definitely worth the wait. Okay, so the, for the second topic, the two orientations. If you're already in a relationship with someone who's in, of a different orientation with you, then why are you even asking this question? I don't understand it. Y'all are in a relationship, and it's your relationship to cherish if you want to or break up if you don't want it. Um, of course, every every relationship comes with trials, and um, some, sometimes it's a little bit harder than others. But if you both want to be in this relationship, you know that all this has to do with... Um, you know why you want to be in this relationship, I mean. Like, just communicate, understand that this is what's going to happen, and, um, yeah, go through it. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. I hope you're not asking for that reason. Um, if you're asking for the reason that you like someone that is of a different sexual orientation um, from you, um, like I said, lesbian with a straight guy, gay guy um, liking a straight male, you know, those kind of things. If that person seems to um, return those same feelings, then pursue it. If that person doesn't seem to return those um, feelings at all, or they're not open to that kind of thing, or they're not trying to experiment, then, honey, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to go to something else. Again, like I said, there's so many people out in the world, and I don't want you to just linger on this person and have this undying love for this person that may never actually feel the same for you. And so, again, if they seem to like you, if they seem to have have like this sort of attraction if they're playing with your feelings something like that ask them see what's going on with them see if they would ever be open to that exper experimenting with you and if you're okay with experimenting with them then go with that but if they're not if they have not shown you any kind of entrance in that and just want to be friends or that kind of thing then you have to get over it all of us have been through it trust me there's so many videos on YouTube talking about I'm in love with my straight best friend or something like that we've all been through it literally it hurts but you're gonna have to just like get over it easier said than done get over it but just don't spend more time on that it's, and waste your time on that again there's so many people in the world okay guys thank you so much for listening I literally just came home from Nicaragua like I just got in here it hasn't even been 10 minutes um, my my bag, my suitcase is right there. My pants are off because I'm just tired right now. And I hope everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful week. And they're going to have a great weekend. Um, so, yeah, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.